importantly, what goods are not covered on ATA Con A? Consumables. Whatever's going in on an ATA Con A must come out. So trade show exhibitors, if you have booths, tchotchkes, giveaways, pens, brochures, none of that can be on an ATA Con A. That has to be on a commercial invoice, not on the Con A. Food items. Food items is interesting. If the food is intended to be consumed, then it cannot be on an ATA Con A. But if it is for display purposes only, and it can be confirmed that it's display purposes only, then it, then it can go on an ATA Con A. For example, there's this auction house in New York City that has a huge wine auction. And before the wine auction, they send the wine on Carnet around the world so the potential bidders can inspect the seal, the color, the sediment without actually opening or sampling the wine. Then it returns to the United States and goes up on auction for bid. And then it can be a permanent export and no longer needs the Carnet. Disposable items, obviously, postal traffic, nothing shipping through the postal system can be on ATA Carnet. For all the obvious reasons, it's a very hard mechanism to ensure customs clearance, proper customs clearance is done. And personal cars for touring on the open road. Now, if we talk about cars like NASCAR, Formula One, anything for big private, large corporate events where the cars are in a closed racetrack environment, or even hot weather testing, cold weather testing, or TV commercials or movies, those cars can be on an ATA carnet because they are in a closed environment. Even if barricades are put up on the road to block the road from traffic to make the TV commercial, that qualifies for ATA Carnet. But personal cars that are touring on the open road cannot be on an ATA Carnet. They need to be on what's called a CPD Carnet. Carnet du Passage en Aduane. My knowledge of the CPD Carnets ends there. It is an uh, Alliance International Tourism Convention, not a World Customs Organization Convention. Uh, I can send you to the entity in Paris if you ever had to have questions on personal touring, cars for personal touring. But regular cars coming for showroom to sit, look pretty on a showroom floor or at a, a big auto show, that's absolutely fine on ATA Conne. No substantial transformation. As I mentioned, what goes in must come out and it must come out in the exact same manner it went in. So it cannot undergo any further processing, any change in value or any tariff shift. Which brings me to no repairs, no replacements. So if you have, let's say you've uh, loaned a simulator to South Korea, the simulator in South Korea breaks. They want to send it back to the United States on an ATA Con A to be repaired and possibly have replacement parts. It cannot come into the US on a South Korean uh, Con A. It has to come into the United States, be repaired, and undergo those US customs regulations that govern repair and replacement parts.